Hi, and welcome to another episode of Just C++. Today it's about serializing with dlib and shared pointer and in combination with Qt also, but I didn't want to put the title too long. So um, yesterday I published an introduction into dlib and today I had to write serialization code which interfaces with dlib. And there was also a feature which I didn't mention yesterday, um, which also made me change in, into the new version today. And that is that the new version actually supports uh, the smart pointers of the standard and also uses these smart pointers. So the, the internal from DLIP used uh, shared pointers with their own implementation is now deprecated. And there's also a new version because there was a build error in Visual Studio. And um, so if, if you have already built your 19.5 release, that's, that's okay. In the other ways, there's uh, 19.6, which only has this uh, fix for CUDA and Visual Studio. And re regarding uh, shared pointer, um, I, I thought well, if, if I switch to the new version, then serialization of shared pointer, uh, which contains a DLIP object, is probably supported. But um, Davis King on Twitter uh, lined out that uh, he's not sure how to implement that because there's um, the problem that you know what what if it's more, um, polymorphic and the pointer could be null etc etc so and, and yes yeah it's probably coming in the future but not in this version so for now one has to implement that by himself and that's what it did today um, but it's not like a generic version um, it's just a normal version which serializes one class. Um, not sure if I have the need to actually make this a different, uh, more generic version. But for now, I need to serialize this one class, which is face data here, which contains all the data of the faces, which is loaded from a certain uh, directory. Um, in save model, I just you know, create a file name, which is just some, some name. I create a JSON document. I create a JSON object. Uh, save face data in there and face data is actually loaded and then I create the object and we're setting the object into the document and then I turn this into JSON and store it in a file. And this is really boring code, but just let's have a look at serialize. So this is the serialize method I wrote today. And with shared pointer, um, I have uh, faces, which probably first take a look into the variables I have to uh, serialize. Um, so the basics of this is a matrix of RGB pixels, which basically is an image. I can then create a shared pointer of that because I have to refer to that from several points in the program. And once the shared image is loaded, um, I use it as a shared pointer. Now I probably can tweak that in the future. Um, shared picks is then put into a vector, which is the container which actually holds the faces. And here we are with a shared container of faces. Um, then I also store like a shared container of a path or an image. So which image? Uh, this stores the relation between image and faces. And I also store the relation between um, a face and which image it is in. So uh, an image can have several faces, but a face in this and this part is actually an, an image, and this image is in some other image. So it's a one-to-one -one relation. Um, the clustering algorithm of DLib then um, returns me an index and a number of uh, kind of an array of things of, of indexes, which are in this, uh, which are an index into this face container on how many, um, you know, how, how many images are in this cluster. Um, and uh, in the future, I want to be able to name clusters. That's why I have the cluster names, which is currently empty. I wanted to do something with histograms. I currently don't store that because I'm not sure if I continue this experiment. And for a future uh, version, I also store face graph labels and face graph edges to make a graph display of images, which are you know, correlated by faces. Uh, but that is a, a thing for the future. And today we're just in the um, serialization function. Um, so 
one thing I have to do is to 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 get an index for every or some some unique value for every shared pointer. And in this case, I use an int because that makes it uh, very easy to let just um, have this and this when, when I serialize, I have to um, create this. But if I deserialize, it's just the index into the into the vector. So this makes it kind of easy to to deserialize and the. Uh, the serialization code has to do some extra work, which is the beginning of the function here, which we see. Um, we already serialized every face of the vector, and we first write the, the size of the stream, but then um, create a face index for every face, and this is then later used in the serialization. And once this is done, I'm just using the stream to dump this as a string into faces um, and this, this code is not written to be uh, hyper performant it's just written to to dump the results into a file and to make it able to load it again um, the image to faces has to go through all its content and yeah p is always pair is kind of my uh, convention and i reuse stream from above, call serialize on every face index for the stream of the current face for this picture, and then serialize this picture with the vector of face indexes where it is in. Um, and then I just put this in the object, which we previously saw, which is created above. I uh, have to do the same thing for JSON face for where I have the kind of the you know the the face to where it is in which file is it, but in this case I simply uh, just have to call into the face index and to save the actual file uh, index into here. And no, this is actually an error which I just figure out because this will overwrite and if I have several images in, in this interesting I have to think about that um, but then I just make a comment here to do Have multiple faces. So then I have a helper function, which well, there I have a helper function. Um, this just is a helper function to just serialize something with the the dlib serialize function and turn it into a string. Uh, the serialize function can serialize uh, from dlib can serialize lots of things uh, standard containers uh, like you see here i use it to store this map of vectors of uh, this map contains an, as an index as a key an unsigned uh, int and the cluster to faces then uh, the faces is a vector to indexes which is actually again an unsigned int um, and I'm done with that the cluster names um, is a vector of Q string as we remember I can just use SV copy and the back inserter to put this into uh, JSON cluster names and put this into the object and then I use serialize var to serialize the other two objects which are uh, face graph and face edges and I just have to return this object and then the serialization of this object is done um, and that's already it. This is the whole serialization, and I have to think about above how I fix this, and if I really need this, or if I just need to um, correlate later. Uh, this is a bit different and uh, safe. There, I have to think about this. But it's always good to look at your code a second time. And with that, we're through with this episode. Um, thank you for listening, and see you in the next episode of just C++.